What's 0.3 times 10? Well, I'm glad you asked. All right, let's work this out. So here's a 10 one machine with the full decimals is displayed. Let me draw a picture of 0.3 first. None of those and three of these, but I'll just write the number three. Now I want to scale this picture up by a factor of 10. So it's having three dots here in the tenths place. I'll go up by a factor of 10. I'll now have 30 dots there in the tenths place. Okay. All right, this is a 10 one machine. What would happen with 30 dots in a box? would get explosions. 10 would explode, kaboom, make a dot. Another 10 would explode, kaboom, make a dot. A third 10 would explode, kaboom, make a dot, leaving nothing behind here. So zero left behind here, but I've created three dots there. So now I can see the answer is going to be three ones and nothing else. Maybe I'll just write three. Great. And we thought about it, that has to be the answer, because after all, three, uh, point 0.3 is three tenths. So I take three tenths and multiply by 10, I see I will get the answer three. Grand and good. All right, let's do another example. Uh, let's do something, I don't know, like 22.37 times 10. Uh, what did I just say? 22.37, 22.37. Don't forget this, James. 22, 22.37 is what I said, times 10. All right, so let me draw a picture of 22.37. That's two of these, two of these, three tenths and seven one hundredths. There's 22.37, just writing numbers instead of dots. Scale everything up by 10, please. So it's having two tens, and they'll have 20 tens. It's having two units, and they'll have 20 units. Three tenths become 30 tenths, and seven hundredths become 70 one hundredths. Okay, what's going to happen now? Oh, tens are going to explode. Kaboom, kapow! Two tens explode, making two dots here and nothing behind. Ah, another two sets of ten will explode. Kazin, kazoop! To leave, making two dots over here, leaving nothing behind. All oh, 33 groups of 10. Kaboom, kabow, kajing. Making three dots here, leaving nothing behind. And 70, seven explosions. Kaboom, kabow, kajing, kajup, kadip, kadop, kadib. That's going to be make seven dots here with nothing behind. So I can see now the answer is going to be 223.7. It looks like, in effect, if I just think my way through it, visualize what's actually happening, I'm just taking all the digits and shifting them over one place. And explosions make that make good sense. That's good. That's right. There's the answer. Plus, if I've got a number that's basically 22 and multiplied by 10, I should get the answer somewhere like 200 or something. And this is good. All right, everything's hanging together. This feels grand.